Hello and welcome to Ariva Academy online administration webinar. My name is Manny and I'll be your trainer for today's session, importing your online form membership data into your database. As a reminder, we're recording today's session and will be available for viewing in about two to three days on the website. You can find these recorded sessions by heading to ariva.com and selecting services in the main menu and then select an academy from the drop down menu. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So today what we're going to be taking a look at is, as we said, the importing of that online membership data. And if you remember from our other session, it was setting up this online membership form here. So the data we're specifically going to look at is going to be a couple gold members that registered as well as a silver renewal, which is going to be great. So also remember, just to kind of take you through how the forms work, you have a new membership action as well as an existing membership action which then they can enter that membership ID. Remember when you're sending them renewal letters from the database side in the communications module, we will include that membership ID to them as well as a link to this renewal page. So that way it kind of all flows nicely. They can come in, they'll have that ID, they'll be able to go ahead and enter it in and then renew that membership right away. As well for the individuals that are creating new memberships, they'll be able to come in and do their new membership, You know, sign up for that gold member, first time member, wonderful it's a brand new membership that will also get fed into the database all right remember as these memberships get signed up for a notification goes to the member thanking them for signing up and all that great stuff like a receipt as well as one to you guys at the admin side letting you know so and so has signed up for this membership with all the nice data on it also remember inside of your guys's database in the online transactions area here it will be flashing with an M with a number next to it. So it'll say one, two, three for however, member, however many memberships you guys have that have come into the system. All right, when you're ready and when you're ready to move those in, you just simply click on the online transactions area. It defaults to the gift screen and you'll just go ahead and select right on that memberships tab. Here it defaults to the new transaction section and you can see right away we have our three members that have signed up, matching that M3 that we're seeing there, which is great. So if a new member comes in, M4, and again, flash and green until you click it. So that way you know until you import these in, they're here waiting for you, which is nice. And when you're ready to import them in, you can do all of them at once, which is fantastic. Remember on the right hand side, you have some nice options here, such as the edit option. If for whatever reason you need to make any changes to the address, first name, last name, any of that information imported in, maybe it came in in all lowercase, uh, Jim may have misspelled his name and put two M's or two I's by mistake or something like that that you can catch. Awesome, you just simply go ahead and click edit and you'll be able to make those changes right away. As well as you have the verify address option, which will take the address, put it into the USPS standard, which is all capital letters and then shorten in all the acronyms there. You know, street will be shortened down to ST and all that great stuff there. When you're done with edits and verifying, great. All you have to do is highlight all of your memberships that you're ready to import in and then select the automatic match option. The next box, box that pops up is just informational here, letting you know basically what that matching criteria is gonna be. So it's not just searching that first name, last name, it's doing a bunch of other things as well, really trying to match these individual members. We say okay here, and you can see we have one match and two no match, which is fantastic. So letting us know that, hey, we have two new individuals to our database, as well as one is an existing individual, which is our renewal, of course, you know, he was already in there. Wonderful, he's just renewing that old membership. So here we just simply say, okay, it's just letting us know how many no matches and matches we have. From there, we know we have no matches, so we just work left to right here and we click right on that no match tab. And right away, it defaults to the membership renewal side. So just remember, if these are new memberships you're looking at, you're just gonna click right on that new membership tab. And there you go, we're gonna go ahead and see our three new memberships. From here, we can just go ahead and highlight our records. And when we're ready to move these members in, we just simply go ahead and click import. What this is gonna do is take these individuals and import these records in completely. It's gonna create a brand new household for the individual. It's gonna put the person in the household, their address, their phone number, and all that great stuff as well. And then as well, it's gonna go ahead and sign this individual up for that membership, pay that first dues, and make sure they're in the membership manager here 
marked in as the member they chose, of course. So fantastic. We're just going to go ahead and simply click import. It's just letting us know, kind of reiterating what I was talking about. Hey, new entity, new membership, and all that great stuff. And then we simply go ahead and say, OK. When we say OK, it's just letting us know we have three imported transactions in. Those imported will stay in the imported tab over here for about 30 to 45 days for historical purposes. On the online side, there will always be a history of that information there. All right, we did have a match membership, so we can take a look there. And right away in our match membership, we have our membership renewals without membership ID, which is great. And I will just check the other one just to be sure. Wonderful. And we have our membership renewals without membership ID. So this is our nice Scotty Pippen renewal that's coming in. And here we know Scotty exists in our system. So we are just creating that membership, basically just adding the due to the existing membership. So all we have to do is just simply checkbox a name and go ahead and say create memberships. That is now just going to take that due, apply it to the existing membership, and we are good to go. All right. That is it from this side of things. If we did want to look up the existed membership, we absolutely could have and kind of forced it directly to Scotty's record as well. Um, as well, we could also have rejected this transaction if we needed to for any purpose. As we go through and we take a look at renewals with membership ID, it's basically the same thing there. It will just be anybody who had a match in membership ID associated to when they came in. Any new membership on the match column will be in that match column, and you will basically see any new memberships here for those match transactions. So when you guys are working through the memberships, just remember on these screens, you do have these kind of secondary tabs here. Just always check through those and just make sure that you don't have anybody sit in or kind of wait in from that side of things. All right. If we go ahead and take a look at our new record, that is the Jim Tuffy family here, and we just want to go ahead and take a look at our membership level, and we can immediately see now we are an active member, gold member, which came in on join date 526. This is when I did the registration today. You can see the last amount paid and the dues paid. So this all came in directly from when we just imported this record in. We can also head to the membership manager here and go ahead and check out any new memberships for specifically this week or last week, I will say this current week, and go ahead and say go. And you can see here we have our brand new members that have happened this week. That one includes the uh, Tuffy family, which was Jim there, as well as a couple others, um, you know, the Scotty Pippen one, which was his nice renewal, and of course the Craig Shaw Butler record, which was a gold member. So all being fed directly in from our setup form that we did last week, you know, gold member, silver member, bronze member, and then of course this was just taking you guys through that import process on getting these records in. Remember, if it's a new individual to your database, that will be a no match. You'll get all that brand new household information in. If it's an existing person in your database, great. It will just update the existing membership or add the membership to the individual's record, and it will update all of their, their business information on there, or their billing information, sorry. All right, that is it for our important session. If you guys have any questions on importing on the match inside or anything like that, just reach out to us at support.ariva.com and we can assist you right away. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.